So now that in today's session that we will start that uh, creation of the purchase equation and we will create the purchase equation and we will uh, uh, discuss further like uh, how we have to create that like next subsequent document in the SAP Ariba procurement solutions. So as like uh, we discussed yesterday that we have the two ways to create the purchase equation. One way is that directly we can come on the catalog tab and from here we can create the acquisition. Or second way is that we can come here in the create menu and we can select this requisition option. So let me just select here this requisition option. Sir, uh, Riga, only one question. Uh, you told that there will be some supplies which will not be registered on the Riba network. So do you mean that previously they were there and again they were here unregistered themselves? So we are able to see their uh, names in that catalog items or how is it? Mm. You mean to say like they have registered and unregistered again, right? Ah, yes. No, no, it's not like that. They have not, they have never visited this Ariba network site. Okay, then, then uh, how is that, how is that we are able to see them on this uh, Ariba, means uh, in our uh, Ariba uh, P2O site or uh, spend management site? This is this is your database. This is not the basically Ariba network site. This is the Ariba platform database. So like uh, to be available, like we have to create the supply record in the Ariba database. But since that our supplier, he is not agree to my, to move to Ariba network. So okay. the registration process we have not have to do, but supply request, supply record we have to create. Okay. It, it is only a supplier record what you have created in Ariba, right? That's what you mean to say. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Even the supply record we can create like only like uh, with the help of the SLP SLP module, right? But as you know, like uh, whatever the different module that Ariva is offering, those are the like separate individual module, and customer are free. Like uh, if they want to subscribe any particular module, they can subscribe. So in certain case, if the customer they do not have the uh, they do not have this like SLP module. So in that case, like uh, we have to like perform the mass data upload. And just we have to create like a supply record in the this database. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. So now just I want I'm on this like a create requisition screen here. So here we can see that we have the different criteria to find out like that relevant product. So the first option is that like you can simply come here in the search bar and you can like uh, search based upon the different criteria. Like uh, you can just enter only this like your required product text here and system will display that particular product to you or we can we, we we have the different criteria which we can use so like if you want to sub by categories you can simply sub by categories with the different options here or if you want to sub by the different supplier you can sub by supplier or contract or purchase or license so like based upon the, this criteria also you can find out your particular product same way if you come downside so the system will also display that recently viewed item so whatever the item that recently we have like uh, viewed that we have visited that something also system will display here and we can simply like uh, find it from here as well apart from this like uh, we can see recently viewed supplier it is also showing so whatever supplier that recently we we have checked that's something it is showing here and uh, it is also showing that relevant ribbon catalog of that particular supplier as well that we can see simply here same way if you have added some of the items as the favorite so this the, the those items will be available here as the favorite and we can like select the particular product just to start the purchasing so it depends on the your choice how you would like to initiate the purchasing that's something you can simply come here and you can initiate and it's a very simple and even you can see these are the criteria is quite similar with your e-commerce site as well so same way we have this options like in our e-commerce site as well so for example if you go in the amazon so whatever the item that is recently you viewed that you checked that's something it will display there on the home page right and even you will have the options like to search the product from the different criteria as well that also you can simply search okay so now what we'll do let's take the example of the laptop itself so let's say let's assume that we have to buy the laptop so what we'll do we'll go here in the laptop and we can simply like uh, type this laptop text in the search bar and we'll hit this search 
So now, as uh, as discussed, like system will display this list of the laptop what is like available that in the form of the catalog we can see in the form of the catalog. So let's assume that we have to buy this one. So we have to buy this Apple MacBook Pro with Retina display. This something product we have to buy. So what the user will do in the real time? So user will check like uh, that information that description of this product and uh, here that he has to adjust the quantity so how much quantity he has to buy that's something he has to adjust and uh, like let's say we have to buy the five quantity so the okay can you please quickly confirm if i'm audible anyone yes you are mr Wynn. okay thank you all right so that the user they have to like adjust the quantity and once he will uh, like uh, adjust this quantity they have to hit this add to cart so now let me click on this add to cart okay so once we'll add to once we hit this add to cart that we can see the system is giving this option like either you have the options to review the cart if you want to review the cart you can review the cart or if you want to proceed to checkout you can proceed to checkout so now let me click on the proceed to checkout <clears throat> 